I am the best at lumping chicken. I, I did it and I'm saying it. Another Cascadia. It's gonna be a good day. Starting the day off with a nice large cup of recovery. Let's get out and check it out, huh? See see how we're gonna how we're gonna rig this one. Like just ten feet that way, I just launched it. So he came from over there, all the way through here. <laughs> yeah. Let's go wake these boys up, huh? They've been here since two o'clock this morning. DPS asked us if we'd work in the daylight, so they're they're catching some beauty sleep. Jeff is in the 9055 wrecker. Chris Bootsloff's in the slide axle. They're gonna hit the crossover. Jeff's gonna turn around, he's gonna back up the highway. Chris Bootsloff's gonna come and get in front of him and just kind of block him all the way back here. And then we're gonna use the wreckers to pull this up on the highway. And once we get on the blacktop, we're gonna detach the tractor, tow the tractor down the road a little bit. Chris Bootsloff's gonna come around, get in front of the tractor, behind, which will be behind the tractor. And then he's gonna drag the tractor up on the slide axle because all the ax all the axles are wiped out of it. So and then Jeff will grab the trailer with the 9055. Turning around like that, backing up the highway and doing these maneuvers on a busy highway. It's a Sunday morning. Uh, they had to be real careful, uh, watch traffic. Um, because if they don't, they could cause accidents, they could be involved in an accident. It can, it can be very dangerous, so they know what they're doing, so they got it, you know.
work seven days a week? Six at least. Yeah, nothing gets in between, you know, me and recoveries. Except for other recoveries. Let's get us a low winch line on this real quick and just give her a little tug. Cause she is just teetering on the edge of destruction. Did you get? Got it all. Did you? Yeah. You got your little peek, sneak peek in there? Like you would think for sure the bank is holding this up. Guess I'm swamping myself today, huh? Guess I'm swamping myself today, huh? I guess, I guess Wrecker Rick swamping for Wrecker Rick today. <laughs> My remote's dead. You got any B batteries? Yeah, it takes bees. You just gonna try to pull it right now? Yeah. What's going on over there? Boy, she's a real tinderbox, let me tell you. Real house of cards. You know, the whole wall. It's, it's a load of chicken. 50,000 pounds of chicken. Raw chicken. And like the wall is just like a house of cards. It's just it's ready to blow out at any minute. It's real tender. Yeah, it's a real tender box. <laughs> the chicken's done marinated too long. She's pretty. She's getting ripe. Should that. Yeah, she's fixing the blowout. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We've got no choice but to recover it. Yeah, as long as she holds together, we won't be scooping up chicken with the skid steer later today. That chicken, sometimes it comes in bags, like 50 pound bags, and it's raw and it's not frozen, and it's just like bags of, you can't get a hold of them. It's like, it's, it's quite a mess. I wanna pull, yeah, I wanna pull this way. Um, and I wanna see if we can pull this trailer, get it up about right here. Yeah. We're gonna get this truck rigged up now. I think I'll let him drag this this way and then I'll just pick up the back. See how it pulls. It says you got full of mud. Sand, actually. Sand. That's off road been using this thing? Yeah, there you go. No pocket knife somewhere. Somebody's been out on the res, huh? So they dig into the ground so it doesn't slide sideways when they try to pull them. Um, she's fighting us, so no big deal. We'll get her out. She's coming out of here. If we have to take it apart piece by piece, it's coming out of here.
back into this up on the road a little bit more. Kind of pull it back like this a little bit. Get this like right here. And then you can winch it out. So much weight holding it over there. Probably everything shifted up. I'll grab a half inch chain for the landing gear and I'll and a clevis, a big clevis. But just keep a little pull on it so it doesn't roll over. But let let off as I pull back. Yes, sir. Don't let it get slack though. go to the other frame over there so while I'm pulling on it you're getting uh, getting it some of this okay give it a little bit of that what is this what is what is this yeah. it's pulling it I want him to pull I want him to pull sideways while I pull backwards I didn't think we were friends, I just don't think I could bear it. There, now we could be friends again. like they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> it's exactly like they don't know what they're doing. It's like playing cards with my goddamn brother's kids. God damn it, Ed, stop blowing that cigar in my face. strap and then I'll I'm gonna use that to stand the trailer up and bring it over into the road. Yeah, I wasn't there. No we'll just go ourselves. Oh funny.
right, so I talked to the driver. The driver said that he lost control and uh, went off the road. When he lost control, went off the road. He then uh, crashed into this hill over here and actually wasn't even uh, leaning on this. Like, it looks like he was just totally leaning on it, but it was just leaning over enough to that appeared that way, but whenever, if you actually look in it real close on some of these close-up shots, it's uh, it's not even really touching. Um, and the drone footage, I'll put it in the drone footage, you can see the tracks running across the freeway. They just missed this big old rock uh, center divide. And then right over here into this wall of dirt. I like to do them from the shoulder and then I don't have to have a dot here and I don't have to have uh, DPS here. I could do everything from the shoulder and then possibly get them here once. It takes a little bit longer, but then you're not shutting down I-40. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a controlled recovery. I'd say it's probably more dangerous, but on the other hand, when they do shut it down, I think it's more dangerous because we're rushing around. We're not thinking things through. We're just throwing cables and chains on stuff and, and pulling on it. Like instead of um, coming up with a plan and you know taking our time, we're not damaging the truck any further than it is. And these guys are learning. I mean, like this. I mean, every axle is blown out on this thing. You know, and all the weight is in this front corner over here. And that's the, the side that's buried into the ground. Uh, you can't get your trucks moved around. For, for this is a 50 ton rotator, like this tractor and all the chickens in the front busting out over here, like that's too much weight for the rotator to pick up alone. So it's not like we could just pick it up and boom over and set it down. Not with an 1150. You gotta finagle it out there, out there you know? 75 ton? Yeah. We're gonna find out. <laughs> I've never had 75 ton. So, what about an M100? We're gonna find that out too. Tell them about the M100. Yeah, we got ourselves a little M100 on order. Two year wait. So the M100 will be here in two years. Counting down the days. What about the 75 ton? 75 ton is gonna be here in October. Twin steer, W900, red. We got a 5130 coming in Tuesday. Brand new Peterbilt 5130. 30 ton record. said that they're going to rebuild it when they're done with the wreck. What do you think? 
I think that's a negative chemo salve. It's pretty near. It's pretty near, for sure. It's been tugged before. All the cage bolts were missing out of the brake chambers. So somebody's caged the brakes before. <laughs> a 20 foot chain yeah and we'll go through the bottom of that uh kingpin plate okay this will plate and then we'll go to the landing gear put a binder on and ratchet down tight okay Work. keep that from pulling out anymore okay it says freightliner did we do that? Put it on your wall? Yeah, right. I'd never put a Freightliner badge on my wall. Garbage. I don't mess around with that garbage. You have some. Farms, huh? Well, I bet you it's delicious. Wayne's not going to be too happy. So we got her on the black top. We're just getting her straightened out. We're going to detach the tractor from the trailer. Some of that chicken out of the front, the <clears throat> kingpin plates coming off of the trailer. Might, we might have to unload it, I don't know. We're gonna have to get it unhooked and look at it and see if it's something we can pull down the highway. Made real well, ain't it? This knife is not sharp. Always honking. Hey! Fifty-six thousand seven hundred twenty pounds. What? Fifty-six thousand seven hundred twenty pounds. That's just the trailer. No, that's the hole. He's that's his gross weight. Have 
know that hole was right there. I see it in the light. No problem. Hot in these rhinos. <laughs> Why don't you pop that back door open? It's going real well. Recovery's shaping up to be a real nice recovery. Uh, we're just doing a little redecorating in here. We'll just be a minute. So stand by. Chicken can you toss? See that pile I made? Oh, we finally got one. Thank you. I'd rather water. Want to water? Yes, water. Uh, we got all the chicken out of this corner here, just about. We got this small stack that I'm sitting on here that I'll probably have to move that by myself too. Um, some people just aren't good at everything, I mean. Some people aren't the best at everything. Like, look at that right there. I am the best at lumping chicken. I, I did it and I'm saying it. Skid steer? Is it 2019? Looks like it's a 2001. It's a Kubota. Um, it's got about 2100 hours on it. SVL 95. It's a pretty nice little machine. We just put some new tracks on it. Boy, she is running nice. We run the other tracks off of her on the last recovery. So, I'd like to direct your attention to this track right here, sir. Here at Murphy's Towing, we like to get out of the good out of our tracks and tires around here. So, no, we run it till it falls off.
I mean, that sucks. At least it's still connected, I think. <laughs> That's Truck's on the slide axle, and he'll unhard bar it here in a second, and then uh, this is gonna go to the yard, and then he's gonna back up and snag that trailer, and we'll be out of here. Took a little longer than we planned, but what happens on these chicken chicken wrecks? We do a lot of them, a lot of chicken wrecks. I think that's probably my 20th chicken wreck right there. So, so when we got inside the trailer. We, we started pulling chicken out of the corner of the trailer where it's busted open right there. And um, it just had so much pull because on impact, all that chicken that was in that trailer all went to the front and it all went to the driver's side. So it was hanging on that driver's side and we fought it the whole recovery. And finally, once we got it on level ground and uh, somewhat uh, secure, we got inside there and leveled the chicken out and once we got the chicken leveled out now then we could drop it on the landing gear because if we would have dropped it on the landing gear with all that chicken on one side the trailer would have just rolled over so we leveled out all the chicken now we'll be able to hard bar it and tow it back to the yard without it wanting to roll over the whole time we're towing it so and chicken falling out and chicken falling out everywhere Sometimes you gotta secure the load. Sometimes you gotta get in there and lump. Like, that chicken's bad. It's breached. Uh, their reefer quit working on impact, so uh, they won't let us do anything with the chicken. It's a liability. They actually wanna, they'll make us take that chicken to the dump and they'll make us give them a, uh, a load ticket from the dump saying that we disposed of it, proving that we disposed of the chicken, so. You can't donate it, you can't do anything. I used to donate it, but I got in trouble. So, don't donate anymore. Communist.
So the trailer's compromised. The plate is compromised. So we're having to chain the plate to the landing gear. Then we'll hard bar the front of it. It'll be all right. side up and finally we went in there and reorganized it and got it all leveled out and those guys got the trailer hard barred headed back to the ash fork yard and the uh, tractors on the slide axle headed back to the ash fork yard uh, we're westbound we came we saw we recovered it's all in a day's work all in a long day's work and uh, so you stay classy, chicken wreck. Pshh.